scientists and healthcare professionals take measurement on daily basis. So in this section, uh, we will describe some of the most common units of measurement in both uh, English uh, system and metric system. Uh, this uh, picture gives you an idea of uh, the measurement of length. Uh, for example, an average uh, human female is about 1.65 meters tall. The meter here, so this is the unit. And uh, as we move to the left, so this is the scale, uh, the length is decreasing. So we will describe what are these units in this section and what's the difference between English units and uh, the uh, standard uh, metric system units. We deal with numbers in both math as well as in science, but there is a fundamental difference uh, between how we express numbers in math and in science. For example, if you solve a mathematical problem and at the end you get an answer, let's say 5.5, Two, and that's a perfectly correct answer. However, if in science you measure something, in science we mostly deal with measurements, and for example, you are measuring the distance between, uh, uh, between two objects, right? And you get an answer 5.5, and you write 5.5, that's, that's not a correct answer. 5.5 what? Is it 5.5 meters? Is it 5.5 inches? So in other words, in science, all numbers, they follow up with another quantity or property and that property is unit. Until you put a unit next to the measurement in science, your answer is incorrect. So unit is equally important quantity in, in, in any measurement in science. So there are two kinds of units uh, or two kinds of system by which we define units. First system is English system and this is uh, common in very few countries. The United States is one of the country who still uses the English system. It's, uh, it, it's also known as imperial system. Uh, it was a uh, uh, invented by England and uh, it's uh, used uh, in very few countries. Uh, the other system is called metric system. In uh, metric system, we will define in a couple of slides later, uh, all units are easily converted from one uh, lower quantity to higher quantity. So it's easy to convert from one to another in metric system and it's the most common used system and this system is preferred in medicine and science also. SI system is based on metric system so they are kind of same thing but SI means standard international or it's also known as international system. Uh, they are sort of same. The base units in metric system are given uh, here. Uh, for length and distance we use meters it's uh, denoted by a lowercase m. Mass and weight is measured in grams. Volume is measured in liters. And then time is measured in seconds. And uh, let me remind again, these are metric system units. The metric system employs prefixes. These are also known as metric prefixes. Each of these prefixes, are uh, they have a unique one letter symbol. Uh, these symbols are shown in this table. For example, T for tera, G for giga, and M for mega, and K for kilo. When these metric prefixes precede a base unit, they act as a multiplier to increase the numerical value by factor of 10 to the x. So what does that mean? So the meaning is, for example, the unit of length in metric system is a meter. So meter, imagine if this is one meter. This is not one meter, but just imagine that this is one meter. So when I 
put a prefix right next to a meter meter will become let, let me put a prefix kilo so meter is just one meter so if I put a prefix k in front of meter so now my unit is kilometer so what's the meaning of kilometer kilo is the prefix and value of kilo is 1000 or 10 to the 3 so this 10 to the 3 act as a multiplier so in other words it gets multiplied to meter so kilometer is 1000 times meter or 1 meter so kilometer is 1000 meters or 10 to the 3 meters so prefixes are used to express uh, values which are much larger than uh, than the base unit for example instead of saying 1000 meters I can just simply say one kilometer so if a distance is even larger than kilo I can use a bigger multiplier for example I can use mega so mega meter mm is mega is 10 to the 6 which is 1 million so instead of writing 1 million meter I can simply write mega meter or I can also write 1 million meter whichever way I want to but mega makes our life easier I don't have to write that many zeros and one <clears throat> so for example 1 megahertz is 10 to the 6 hertz hertz is a unit of frequency similarly we uh, our computers and phones they have memory of gb now what is gb stands for g is giga and b is bytes so one gb is one gigabytes now bytes are unit of uh, uh, memory so one gb is 10 to the 19 that's a that's a uh, error it should be bytes <clears throat> so one 10 to the 9 bytes uh, okay. now in this table we have multipliers for larger values we have uh, some prefixes metric prefixes uh, multipliers which are used to express smaller quantities also uh, those are expressed in next slide the prefixes given in this table uh, decrease the size of numerical value because multipliers are less than one as you can see that all these multipliers are less than one so when these small numbers are multiplied with the base unit they will decrease the value uh, for example one centimeter is a meter multiplied by centi prefix or in other words one centimeter is uh, 1 times centi prefix for centi is 0 0.01 meter or in other words it's 0 0.01 meter so see you can see it's a, it's a small number now so all these prefixes they decrease the value of base unit uh, we can go from uh, centi or deci is 0.1 one tenth of a meter is deci one hundredth of a meter is centi or in other words uh, we can use these 10 to the negative 1 10 to the negative 3 uh, 2 and so on multipliers <clears throat> so if I uh, but the 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 size of atoms are usually expressed in nanometers or the bonds uh, for example if you say carbon and carbon bond is I don't exactly remember the value but let's say it's 120 9 nanometer so what does it mean it it means that carbon carbon bond length is 129 multiplied by 10 to the 9 meters I just simply replace the multiplier nano or I could just uh, I could also multiply with this value also let's use this prefix is uh, metric prefixes and uh, perform some conversions for example in a we need to convert micrograms uh, and grams so micro prefix micro this is the symbol for micro and the value for prefix micro is 10 to the negative 6 or 
10 to the negative 6 means 1 divided by 10 to the 6 or is same as saying 1 divided by 1 million or followed by six zeros or it is same as 0 0.000001 all of these are correct you can choose either one of them so if you want to uh, write the conversion between micrograms and grams so microgram to gram conversion so a so we can choose any prefix given above here so one micro gram is equals to 1 times 10 to the negative 6 grams okay you can say it's a same as saying 1 0 0.000001 grams they both are correct b micrometer and meter so micrometer to meter so micro so one micrometer is 0.000001 meter and i'm gonna leave the c uh, i think you guys got the idea so you can write the conversion between microseconds and seconds length is the distance between two points a meter is the base unit of length in metric system as well as in SI or standard international standard uh, system one meter is divided into 10 decimeters or in other words one decimeter is one tenth of a meter or one meter is divided into 100 centimeter or in other words one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter and similarly one meter is uh, divided into 1000 millimeters or we can say one millimeter is one thousandth of a meter as explained earlier we can um, uh, use metric prefixes to define distances which are much greater than a meter or much smaller than a meter for example uh, uh, the long distance runners many times they run 5k or 10k uh, race now what's the meaning of 5k 5k means 5k or kilometer race so in other words 5 times kilo is 1000 meter or 5000 meter race in case you uh, don't know how long a meter is a meter is a little bit more than a yard uh, it's about three inches more than a yard <clears throat> similarly 10k race will be 10 k or 10 kilometer or 10,000 meters okay. so kilo is an example of a prefix which makes the base unit larger similarly if uh, you are measuring distances which are much smaller than a meter remember meter is a little bit more than a yard then we use a prefix which makes the base unit smaller so one such prefix is centi centi is one hundredth or 0 0.01 so one centi is or centi is 0 0.01 or 10 to the negative 2 uh, <clears throat> for example uh, during pregnancy doctors they measure the uh, size of fetus in centimeters uh, from this um, size now fetus is extremely small um, uh, and the <clears throat> it, it grows as uh, as the time progresses and uh, from the uh, from the size of the fetus or the distance from the head to the to the to the end of the body they can estimate the age of the fetus they can estimate the growth and they can also many times diagnose the abnormalities so now because fetus is much smaller than the base unit which is one meter so hence we use the prefix centi 
some common English units of length are feet or foot. Uh, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Yard, one yard is equal to three feet. And a mile, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Mass is a measure of amount uh, of matter. Mass is measured on a balance or scale. The base unit of mass in metric scale is gram. And the international standard unit is kilograms. As explained earlier, in metric units or in standard international units, we can use uh, multipliers to express quantities of mass which are much smaller uh, than the base unit, or we can also uh, use larger prefixes. Uh, for example, uh, when you read a nutritional label such as the uh, one shown in this picture, I'm not sure if you can read it, but it says vitamin C here it says vitamin c 60 uh, milligrams or in other words this product whatever is contained i believe it's a multivitamin uh, so this product for every one dose uh, the person will get 60 milligrams of vitamin c okay so all these nutritional labels uh, or, or any other medicines and uh, foods, uh, they use uh, metric units to express the, uh, express, uh, the quantities of matter. Now we know that milli is one thousandth of a gram, but if a quantity is even smaller than one thousand, then we can use a smaller prefix such as micro. The symbol for micro is this Greek letter uh, it's it's a mu. Okay, that's a symbol for micro. But in many uh, cases, uh, they use mc also to define micro. Mc means the same thing as micro. But in science or in our book, at least, we will always use this symbol, the mu. <clears throat> English units of mass is uh, pounds. Uh, one pound is equals to sixteen ounces. Volume is a measure of three-dimensional space. Uh, for example, if you have a box and you want to know how much space is there in the box, you will express that quantity in volume. Volume is a measurement derived from the units of length. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to know the volume of this box, you would uh, measure the length of the box, width of the box, and the height of the box. And the volume can be calculated as length times width times height. Uh, imagine if all length, width, and height are uh, one centimeter so this volume will be one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter or in other words it will be one centimeter cube volume is measured in liters in metric unit as well as international units the common uh, unit for volume in medical field is uh, is pint and cubic centimeter As I explained earlier, that uh, volume is derived from uh, length. So if we have a tiny box whose length is one centimeter, height is one centimeter, and width is one centimeter, the volume of that box will be one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter or one centimeter cube. So this is the volume of this tiny cube. And one centimeter cube is equals to one milliliter how do we know that because that's the definition so if you create a box of this dimension and you fill this box with with water the amount of water what will go in this box will be one milliliter or in other words one milliliter is equals to one centimeter cube now one centimeter cube is also known as one cc where cc means centimeter or cubic centimeter one cc is one cubic 
centimeter which is same as saying one centimeter cube so remember one milliliter is equals to one centimeter cube and it is equal to one cc anyone who's um, interested in automobiles would know that cc is used to define the size of uh, uh, displacement of engine so for example um, uh, many cars have 2000 cc engine or motorbikes smaller motorbikes have 600 cc engine so that means the volume uh, the cylinder volume in the engine is one cubic or uh, 600 cubic centimeters common english units for volume is a gallon one gallon is equals to four quarts and one quart is equals to two pints or in other words one gallon equals eight pints in chemistry lab we use different uh, glassware to measure volume some of these are more accurate than the other uh, the accuracy of these will be discussed in next section but anyway so <clears throat> uh, the most common glassware used to measure volume is burette uh, graduated cylinder pipette and volumetric flask in lab in labs you will find some other equipment also for example beakers so these beakers may have some scale but beakers uh, but they are never used to measure the volume because these scales may not accurately represent the value so these are just approximate similarly we have Erlenmeyer flasks and these flasks may also have some scale volume scale here but these two are never used to measure the volume because the values will not be accurate <clears throat> anytime you measure a liquid uh, in any of these glassware liquid level will never be flat it's always going to be curved for example shown here so it, so it will be slightly curved so this is known as meniscus so meniscus is the curved surface of a liquid whenever you measure any value we always go with the lower part of the meniscus uh, not the top part of the meniscus if you want to measure the volume of a solid object uh, there are two kind of methods first method is use when your solid object has a regular shape such as a sphere or a cube or a cylinder or or a rectangular uh, prism so in this we can apply geometry to find the volume uh, as we discussed earlier volume of a cube or cubic box is uh, length times width times height because all of them are same so that's the formula similarly volume of a sphere is given by this formula volume is equal to pi by 6 uh, dq where d is the diameter of uh, the cube and similarly these are the formulas for other two objects so these objects have a regular shape what if if you want to measure an object which has an irregular shape maybe a rock and that's the shape of a rock how would you measure this volume uh, we cannot use uh, uh, geometry to measure the volume in that case we use the method called volume displacement method so what is volume displacement method this method is uh, i believe it was invented by the greek philosopher archimedes so what you do is you take a cylinder or any volume measuring device and fill this cylinder up to certain level maybe this is 50 milliliter so note down this value and then what you do is you drop your object in this one the irregularly shaped object when you drop this uh, object in here this volume will go up now so maybe after you drop it in maybe it went all the way up to here 70 milliliter so before dropping the object the volume was 50 and after dropping the object in it now it became 70 this increase in the volume is because we added this 
volume of solid object. So volume of object is equals to the final volume minus the initial volume or uh, 70 minus 50 it's just an example milliliters don't forget the units is equals to 20 milliliter let's solve this problem what is the volume in milliliters of a cube measuring two centimeter a side okay so we have a cube let me draw it and each side of this cube is two centimeters so length is two centimeter width is two centimeters and height is also two centimeter okay we know that volume of a cube is equals to length times width times height so two centimeter times two centimeter times two centimeter so this is two times two times two which is eight and centimeter cube so volume is equals to eight centimeter cube now however we want our answer to be in milliliter and we know that centimeter cube is equals to or one centimeter cube is equals to one ml so in other words centimeter cube is same as saying milliliter so our volume is equals to 8 milliliter